Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast and intuitive development and often spiritual teaching for today, Monday, November the 17th, as well as tomorrow, November the 18th, 2014. As always, thank you for taking time to watch, retweet, post, subscribe, share a cup of coffee, and uh, just do all that you do um, here on social media, on patreon.com and and even live in Orlando, Jamie and I had an amazing show yesterday. Probably 50 people showed up at Holly and Dolly's there in Altamont Springs, Florida. We had a wonderful healing day. Messages were delivered. Spirits, people came in. Tears were shed. Healing was done. Even the people at the bar were enjoying it and getting messages. So it was quite an amazing, wonderful day. And... Um, which kind of leads me into um, a little bit of the spiritual teaching today. Um, and again, I was reading, you know, i um, pretty sure it was Paul Selig's book, um, talking about, I'm saying um a lot this morning. I just realized that. That's kind of funny. But I was reading the book, and I'm going to avoid saying it now. Um, and he talked about, or his guides talked about, We've given you the key to walk through the door into the next room, and and one of the some one of the persons in the room was asking his guides, you know, well I want to see the rest of the house or show me everything, and I took that and just really meditated on this morning. And so many of us want it, want it fast, want it all, and not we do that in normal life in like career and job and family and relationship, but then all of a sudden as we're starting to open up, waken up and enlighten ourselves. We want that to happen fast too. And it's it's like I, I imagine like the images that Spirit was showing me was like almost like the space shuttle coming back into orbit too fast and disintegrating. So there's those moments where you need to allow yourself to adjust to the vibration. And Spirit just showed me the images of numbers. And what numbers kind of do in my mind, in my study, in the work that I do, I see number one as a dynamic number, number two as a little bit of a plateau. Three, we take off again. Four, even a plateau. Five is a biggest straight up cliff. And then six is, you know, you're getting closer to the top and you're like, like woo. Seven, we start to make our way down. Eight, we've got nice speed, momentum. We're just kind of steering the boat, not having to push too hard. And, and nine, we're back home and we start the whole thing all over again. So even that flows and ebbs, you know, the cyclical, it has cycles. So allow yourself that. And the image again Spirit was giving me was, um, Okay, we've all just signed up for a marathon. All right, we're going to run 26.2 miles to a relationship, to a new job, to personal growth. Whatever the finish line is, put it there. Now, you just signed up for it. Can you run that 26.2 miles to that relationship? Probably not. Most of us could not because we've not trained for it. We've not practiced for it. So you just take that metaphor for whatever. If it's a relationship you want, chances are at 18, you're not going to find the first love that you're going to spend the rest of your life with perfect, wonderful in a, in a basket. Chances are you've done some dating. Now, I love the stories of those 18 year olds finding each other, high school sweethearts, spending the rest of their life together. I love those stories for me. I call that soul recognition. I call that you've already done the hard work in previous and past lives. And you're finally like, whoo, we get to just have fun in this lifetime. But most of us need to train a little bit, date a little bit. Most of us need to, you know, try be an intern here, there, or a part-time job here and there before we find that one career we truly, truly, truly want. And again, I love those five and eight-year-olds who say, I want to believe, be a police officer, and that's what they become. Again, I say that's much more of a soul recognition where they've done that more. But again, whatever your end goal is, whatever your marathon is, adjust to it. You know, you run one mile today, or this week you run three times one mile. Then the next week you run three times two miles. And, you know, this is how you train. And then the, the fourth week, you maybe push it to a five mile, and then you run a three mile and a three mile. Then you do a seven mile, and then a four mile and a four mile. You keep pushing it, and then you, you adjust back and forth. And there's all different um, theories and ways of doing it. So whatever your marathon is, whatever your goal is, take your time to adjust to it. And those of you who don't need to adjust to it, who can run the full marathon right now, you're going to know beyond a shadow of a doubt because you're not even thinking about it. 
like those high school sweethearts, they didn't think about it. They just knew. So if you question, hmm, I wonder if this is my high school sweetheart. Probably not. You don't even question it. It just is. It just is. So whatever your marathon is, adjust to the vibrational change. Uh, you know, um, train for it in the sense. Training is what I would call adjusting to it. So allow yourself to, those moments of breathing, especially with spiritual growth. You know, it's just like I, I think... I'm trying, the Im, I'm spirit took the image out of my head where I was going. But again, almost like that disintegrating of the space shuttle returning into the atmosphere. It's because it went too quick, too fast. You know, it needs a parachute or it's going to, you know, and you need that parachute. You need to slow down and take another flight and slow down. Touch down, take off again, touch down. So enjoy the journey because it is a beautiful one. It is a beautiful one. And sometimes I think that's what our experience is all about here is the journey. We know about the whole destination, the journey. So, so um, where are we today? Today is number 17. This number popped up like twice yesterday, but it was January 17th, um, which that may be the next date. So uh, 17 is the star card. It's hope. It's um, guidance. The stars help guide us. And 17 boils down to 8. 8 is the strength card. Um, and then I pulled the star card from Lenormand, which is about guidance, direction, um, and hope. And then I pulled the justice card yesterday for today, which is about balance and um, that equilibrium. I'm going to pull um, another Lenormand for today. Ah, this is the bouquet number 9. Um, and this bouquet is the one of the most positive cards. The key is probably more positive, but the bouquet, the flowers, it's just a beautiful gift. It's wonderful. It's amazing. It's what you what you wanted, but you couldn't even describe what it was that you wanted. You knew you wanted something amazing. And then the tarot to go along with it. Ah, look at that. More flowers. Oh, my gosh. And I love that. Look at this. Ciro has put almost the same flowers in there. Um, so this number uh, 10 of coins is all about abundance. 10, it's a box full of money. In traditional readings, this would have been like your inheritance. You can see the Virgo sign there. You can see the female sign. So today, I would say with this, this bouquet and this 10 coins, get ready for a big freaking check or a box full of money to be dropped on your doorstep. Ta-da! This, this is just like beautiful and positive right there. Step, and then what you want to do is utilize the strength card to get it. Utilize the star card and energy to continue the hope and the belief in it. Um, and then also the star from the Norman for the direction, the victory, and the success, and the hope that is coming. Stepping into tomorrow's energy, and that is the moon card, um, excuse me, 18, which is moon card. Um, and also uh, 18 boils down to 9, which is our hermit. Thank you, hermit. Love you, hermit. Um, Spirit just told me some of the things I was talking about earlier. And it, because of the hermit showed me that, because I'm hermiting it today. I'm sure Jamie is too. I think she even said she took today off. So going back to my lesson about adjusting to the vibration. So this past week, Jamie and I were talking a lot, you know, off, offline and with the group about, you know, I did a radio show Tuesday night with Andrea Perrin and uh, George R. Lopez. She did Dr. Wyatt um, on Saturday night. I listened in. So Thursday night, she was on Stephen Kelly's show. I got to listen to a little bit of that. I was reading all day Saturday. Um, then we did the show Saturday, Sunday afternoon, and then Sunday night we got on the radio. And I and I remember just thinking, we never complained about it. We honored what it was, that it was a good, hard, long week of work. And I know for me, that was me adjusting to new vibration. That was me training because of where I'm heading. Because when I step into you know, that TV personality and the TV work, those are long, hard days. Those are 12 hours days 14 hour days and the week that I had because again I'm still working the the you know kind of nine to six type of a job and then doing this work in the evenings um, so I'm adjusting to it I'm, I'm pushing I'm expanding myself so that's where spirit was trying to tell me that I lost and it came up because of the hermit because I'm hermiting today well sort of today I'll be working till almost nine or ten o'clock tonight because of work but I balance I balance myself out I'll go in late probably Wednesday because um, then we have all day meetings. <laughs> we have all staff meetings tomorrow. Um, so 18, moon card, trust your intuition. Nine, hermit, get there when you need to. New Lenormand for tomorrow is going to be, ah, oh, Clover. Man, I tell you, the last two days we put up with so we could experience these two days, Clover and Flower. And, and the, the only one even more amazing is Key. These are two of the most beautiful cards, the Clover and the um, Flower. It's amazing. It's wonderful. They're positive in Lenormand. So they're lucky. So let's look at Tarot to see what goes along with that today. Lucky surprises. So eight of wands. So get ready for amazing 
out of the blue surprises tomorrow the 18th it's going to be amazing I know what my amazing lucky surprises are I know what my bouquet and um, ten of coins is I am I, I'm so excited about these next two days so and you should be too continue to stay in that place of high vibration and adjust every time you take a step closer to your true and authentic um, self and you align yourself with that source energy so thank you thank you thank you check out my website intuitivemessenger.org on that main page there's a lot of places instagram twitter you can see what i'll be teaching um, in atlanta in june intuitive animal communication you can support me financially uh, for this web for this youtube channel um, at patreon.com intuitive mitchell you can see that all there and there's spreads available for you as well i do have some spots open this weekend if you're looking for phone skype or um, FaceTime sessions and um, there's one person I have not returned your email or call yet so I will very soon it was a busy weekend I'll get to you today I promise have an amazing day namaste bye-bye oh and thank you everybody for coming out yesterday bye-bye